mess them out. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The enemy of your destiny will be disgraced this night. If you are saying amen, make it better. I'd like you to desire something from God. You make God angry when you come without an expectation. I have not said to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. I wondered how a woman stepped in here on Sunday with a plague of the devil thinking she was pregnant not knowing that bad blood was already piling up in her system. She told the husband that she was pregnant. The husband said, I never meet you now, so I can you be pregnant. She said, I go, give me money, I'll go buy that thing to take test. Still give her money. But after the service on Sunday, the third service, you know, we talked about um, recovery of your power. As she partook of the communion and went back home, come and see blood pouring out. The husband is now, himself now said, wherever you went to, that the thing came out. Me, I'm going there on Monday. That God that did it for her does not only operate on Sunday. It's available even now. And my prayer for you is that whatever is working against you mysteriously will be disgraced by the power of God. If you are saying amen, say better amen. I am not the healer. Neither am I the assistant healer. Jesus is the healer. And I want to guarantee someone here, any power that has kept you in oppression, oppressed your destiny, oppressed your family, the spell over you will break in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Father, I thank you. Grant confirmation to your word and give everyone their desired testimony. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you are the person Jesus is touching, shout a bigger amen. amen. Put those hands together for the Lord and please get seated. God bless you. Still in our series, engaging the power of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit for conquest. Every day is a day of battle. Arrows don't have flying time. Scripture say arrows shall fly by day. Pestilence shall walk at noonday. Destruction shall come at night. But scripture say it shall not come near thee. But you will hear with your ears the destruction of the wicked. He say a thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand at the right hand. Knowing fully well that the whole world lieth in wickedness, there is what you must do under God to stay triumphant, to prevail over circumstances. When the enemy is seeking desperately how he will run you out, how he can weary you, how you can demobilize your destiny and puncture every good thing that wants to take place in your life, you need the enabling power of the Holy Ghost. And one thing that you must discover tonight, that everyone understands and manifests his true identity by the revelation of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the one that reveals our identity to us. And once your identity is revealed, your authority is restored. 
Once your identity is revealed, your authority is restored. In John chapter 3, Jesus said, He that is born of the flesh is flesh. And he that is born of the spirit is spirit. The wind bloweth where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from, neither where it's going to. The only thing you are seeing is the effect. Recognizing that you are born of the spirit fuels and steers of supernatural boldness. In John chapter 10 and verse 34, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I have said, Ye are gods. Verse 35, If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. They know not. Neither will they understand. He said, all the foundation of the earth have gone out of course. They know not. But I have said, ye are gods. Know it, you are a god. You are beyond a human being. A lion is a lion sleep or awake. Whether he's sleeping or he's awake, he's a liar. So you can't win the battles of life without having an understanding that you are a God. And knowing that you are a God infuses boldness. Boldness. I say to one, go, and they go. And to another, come, and they come. The righteous is as bold as a lion. I came this night to kill fear in you. Whatever has been making you fearful, today, that witchcraft fear, that satanic fear will die. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. If you lack boldness, you can't win the battles of life. Jesus said, I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversaries shall not be able to resist nor gainsay. Why? Boldness. I give you a mouth not to gossip. I give you a mouth not to talk rubbish. I give you a mouth not to backbite. I give you a mouth not to use it and be spoiling church members. Scripture says, let not an evil speaker be established on the earth. Right on, since you have the grace to speak evil or talk rubbish, you have nullified your establishment on the earth. You will end in this earth as a non-entity. It's in the Bible. I will open it. Many do it out of foolishness and ignorance. Even if you have been doing it as foolishness, hear it now. Don't say anybody, do you? Now you do yourself. Psalm 140, verse 11. Let not 
an evil speaker, you establish on the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. So if you think you have mouth to talk rubbish, I hear you. You are on your way. So if you see any man talking rubbish, don't encourage him or leave him alone. He's on the way to the floor. Your mouth is given to establish your destiny. Not to truncate your destiny. Your mouth is to give motion to the plan and purpose of God for your life. Your mouth is to trigger the plan of God into fulfillment. Hear me? If you say nothing, God will do nothing. It is a rule in the realm of the spirit. You are not permitted to see what you have not said. But in as much as you need to say it, you must say it with confidence and with boldness. So you determine the outcome of your life here on earth. You determine your progress. You determine your flourishing. It's not what you wish. It's not what people wish you. It's not what people think about you. Let's, let me assume now that we are close to 700 here now. 700 people here are permitted to have varied opinion about me. But none of your opinion can truncate what God has in mind for me. And I must not subject myself to your thinking. Your opinion is as irrelevant as the, as the, as the chaff. Why? What scripture said, you shall have whatsoever you say, not what they say. So you determine your outcome. The Holy Ghost showed me something, that destiny is garbage in, garbage out. What you garbage into destiny is what destiny will garbage out for you. You are not permitted to harvest what you have not planted. So as God's representative here on earth, you decree what will be established. He said, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be what? Established. And he said again, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. So mind what you say. You are not saying for me, you are saying for yourself. You are saying for your wife, saying for your children. I will do the very thing that I hear you say. So if you open your mouth and say, I don't tire for this life. Life say, me too, I don't tire for you, self. Hear this. You don't tell God to do it. He says, speak, and I will stamp it. Hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. He said, them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You don't beg for what will happen. You command things to happen. Why? Because you are here as a ruler, not as a beggar. So you don't live your life to chance. If you live your life to chance, what is likely to happen for you is evil. Evil. Yeah. 
Psalm 115 and verse 16. The heavens, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth has he given to the children of men. You are in charge here. Tell your neighbor you are in charge here. In your family, you are in charge. You are in control. You decide what happens to your career. You decide what happens to your business. You decide what happens to your family. If you don't say what you want, Satan will give you what it wants. No wonder Papa said you need a lion heart to take a lion share. With the way you are behaving presently, if there is no change in your attitude, you will end up the way you started last year. But God forbid. The remaining days of this year, you will recover everything that belongs to you. So understanding your identity puts you in control and enforces bold speaking. Even in prayer, scripture says, let us come boldly before the throne of grace, before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us. Not to come fearfully. Not to come like someone that they want to use a um, rope and tie. No. Come boldly. Luke chapter 19 and verse 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy. Tell your neighbor, occupy. Meaning, take charge. Enlarge your territory. Break through the way you want. In the natural, if you give men opportunity, they will mess you up. Am I correct? Likewise, in the spiritual, if you give Satan the opportunity, we mess you up. We mess you up. Let me say this. Everybody you see here has 1% madness. When it is time to be gentle, I'm gentle. But if you need to see my red eyes, I will give it to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Satan is stubborn. And that's why he deals with people that are gentle all round. Man, Pastor Tony is not gentle. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by what? That word force is spelled boldness. If you are too gentle, you suffer too many things. If you are too gentle, you suffer too many things. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. They suffer oppression. They suffer depression. Forces are crying within your neighborhood. Things are oppressing you in the dream. You don't react. You are saying one day God will do it. God will not come. Oh. Tell your neighbor God will not come. Some years back, I think that should be either 90 or 91. The head of the Amok said that they were going to hold witchcraft conference in Benin. And late by Archbishop Idahosa said, that meeting will not hold. So the man said, he doesn't have power to say that they've already agreed. And funny enough, <laughs> the 
journalists, they lure them to the TV house that they must meet. <laughs> they asked him, are you a witch or you are not a witch? If you are a witch, say you are a witch so that I can kill you here. And let you know that that meeting must, will not hold. He couldn't open his mouth to confirm whether he's a witch. And he declared that meeting will not hold. And the meeting never held till date. Shall I tell you something? God is waiting for your declaration to establish his confirmation. So you must carry a consciousness that you are a God. And you know, as a God, what you issue is decree. Scripture said, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be what? Established. So you don't move out carelessly like a beggar. Father Lord, if it is your will, let, let my business open today. It has already been his will. I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. And I just remember the testimony I listened from one of um, Dr. Lukaya's message when they were praying, oh heavens, open for me. Now one woman was selling mama put in primary school. And she had another counterpart that was also selling mama put. You know, children of those days, if you give them money to buy things, their mind is on the mama put. So, this woman has been tortured by the other person because she was using charms. So she will cook rice and beans, but more plantain, yam. She will not sell. This other person will sell. I won't finish and go. This thing was happening until she attended a rugged service. That service upturned everything about her life. It was just one prayer. She picked that one prayer. Oh heavens! Until I finish selling, nobody will sell. <laughs> Hear me? When you know who you are dealing with, Paul said, I know whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded. And I'm persuaded that that which I've committed into his hand is able to keep. Oh heavens! Until I finish selling, nobody will sell. Guess what? They went back to market the following day. As the children, you know, the moment they hear, baga, 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 everybody began to pick race. All the children landed on her table. She sold everything. As she finished selling, the other woman was now wondering what has happened. So while she was washing, she was singing, I have a father who will never ever fail me. <laughs> if you see the thing going to pay you, Abby. <laughs> All heavens, until I finish selling, nobody will sell. Even angels know when you mean it. Or oh, this one you are praying so that uh, nobody will hear what you are praying. Come and hear what I'm praying. You will hear fire. You may even hear the prayer I'm praying. I'm praying against you. Yes, now, because I don't know whether you are the witch troubling for fighting me. So I pray against everything. So if you are, if you are among those that have been uh, recruited to trouble me, my arrow must touch you. It must touch you. <laughs> the following day, the same thing happened. Another one happened again. Another one happened again. 
the woman now came. I beg, where you go? Where you go? You know, your words are like divine shelters. Every time it's released, they paralyzes the atmosphere. Any witch that fly past my house is dead. Come and fly. Your territory has now been declared a no flying zone. So you need this element of madness to declare what must be confirmed in your life. Do you know what? Many of you have tolerated marital disappointment enough. It's time to react against the devil. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You must react violently. Many of you have managed, you have managed enough you are not really managing, you are patching. So it's time to react. If you don't react this way, you can never win. You can't win. You need this force to establish your winning. And I make bold to say to you, you are not in the same level with witches. Scripture says you are seated with Christ Jesus far above. Hear me? In the, in the, in, in fact, even in the witch world, witch, witches are the least. What did I say? You are seated with Christ Jesus far above principalities and what? Powers. So you are not to fight against Satan. Now that you challenging him, you are issuing orders. Issuing authority. And as you are issuing these orders and authority, hear me, angels are on swift motion. They are on swift speed. Scripture said, the angel of the Lord, they excel in strength. And they bring to binding the word of the Lord. Now what is the reason and the guarantee for your boldness? Confidence. Confidence in God's word. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. So when you have this understanding that there is a personality that is out to make sure that none of your word fall to the ground. Just as scripture says concerning Samuel, none of his word fell to the ground. If I say be blessed, you will be blessed. If I curse anybody, the person is cursed. I'm not waiting to know whether, let me watch and see whether, no, it must call, it must work. It must work. So if you say, this is what I want to see, God will bring it to pass. As far as it is written in scripture. As far as it has proof backing from his word. You have tolerated situations enough. You have lost battles enough. It's time to fight back. It's time to react. So when you react, then you have given God a license to confirm it. Boldness manifests itself through our tongue. Tell your neighbor your tongue. That's why I pity. I will still say it again. If you are a gossiper, you don't have a chance. No winch is doing you. You are the winch of yourself. You are the one winching your destiny. Winching your family. Winching your career. Everything about yourself, you are the winch. Since you have mouth to be talking rubbish, saying things you are not sure, saying things that will be wounding your own destiny, 
God gives you mouth to triumph, you have used your mouth to buy defeat. Can God back a, a word that has no attachment to him? No, that's I me. Mean. I learned from Dr. Bill Wisting, words attract spirits. If you speak the right word, you attract the spirit of God. If you speak the evil word, you attract Satan. So you only know the what you are attracting to your life. But when you speak the right word, you trigger the spirit of God. And God said, let there be light. And the Holy Ghost was moving, waiting for the word to be declared, to establish. So what you don't say, you don't see. You only see what you say that has bearing with scripture. So your boldness is what connects you to your expectation. If you don't declare it boldly, God will not confirm it. I, the Lord, search the heart and I examine the rate to reward every man. We have in the same spirit of faith. We believe, therefore, we speak. So faith goes alongside with boldness, with confidence. Acts 14 and verse 3. Acts 14 and verse 3. Long time, not short time. Therefore, about day, speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Long time. You said it yesterday, say it again. Say it and make the devil angry. If they ask you how to attend them, everything is working well. If they ask you, are you pregnant? Tell them, God has done it. Don't tell them, eh, I'm still waiting. I'm still expecting. Papa was sharing a testimony two weeks ago. Is it two weeks or three weeks ago? A woman who has just been expecting the thing to happen. After this teaching, the witch that have been terrorizing her called her Asa. How far? God has done it. Do you know what happened? The arrow that the woman has been firing went back and hit her. My chest, my chest, my chest. That was how she shouted my chest and died. Whatever you believe, say it. No matter who wants to get offended, let them get offended. If you are, if you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. They don't have power to establish it for you. So, Get God on the scene of the things you want to experience. Don't be saying it with fear. How far? God has done it. Who wants to get angry? Let him get angry. Who wants to mock? Let him mock. They will mock, but God will make. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And lastly, for your prayers to be answered also, you need boldness in declaring what God has said. Tell your neighbor you need boldness. You need boldness to declare it. You need boldness to enforce it. It's not your feeling. You keep declaring it. The more you declare it, the more you empower the angels to establish it. Anything you tolerate is your choice. Anything I don't want, I, I, I give expression to it. And if you want God to be on your side, keep saying his word. Keep saying it. Keep speaking it. Don't stop talking it. <laughs> keep saying it. The more you say it, the more you provoke him to action. Rise up to your feet. Poverty will leave you. 
Lack and want to leave your family. You are not even saying amen like someone that is sure. Any force that have been attacking you is time to attack back. Now, let me show you how powerful words are. A woman, let me say a mother, afflicted the daughter with blindness. So, they went to see God's servant, one of God's servants. So, the Spirit of God told them that they should lock both of them inside the room. And they should be praying, I fire back. Every arrow of blindness, I fire back. <laughs> Somebody is laughing. <laughs> we are going to hold that service maybe upper week. The title of the service is I fire back. <laughs> so they began to pray, I fire back. Arrow of blindness, I fire back. Guess what happened? The blindness left the daughter that was afflicted and catch the woman that sent it. Are you ready to fire back? Yeah. Whoever is saying no to your blessing. Yeah. Whoever is shooting arrow of miscarriage. Yeah. Whoever is shooting arrow of poverty. Yeah. Whoever place an embargo over your business. Yeah. Lift up your voice now and begin to declare what you want to see. Fighting my progress, fighting my destiny, I fire back the arrow. Any power fighting my enlargement, my change of story, I fire back the arrow. I return the arrow by fire. Shekutu suta palis, bread the cool suna etalis. And Sududu Rekota. Any power manipulating issues in my life, in my assignment, in my career, in my spiritual life, I fire back the arrow. I fire back the arrow. Lift up your voice and pray. Any evil personality that has far 
allow the wicked vow for me. Your time is up. I prophesy over you. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Lakoto esonanda dayata. Jekuka brekete. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I don't know what is mysterious around you. My father, Bishop Abiyo, said, life is a mystery. And if you want to win, you must also engage mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You are going to pray. By the mystery of the blood, any altar that has received enchantments, any evil cancer that have been taken against me, by the vengeance of the blood, let their arrow backfire. Lift up your voice and begin to pray now. Any altar that has received enchantment, any altar that has received divination, any power manipulating issues in my life, whatever represents a negative mystery over my life, over my destiny, over my assignments, over my wife, over my assignments, over my children, over living for church Lafia, by the vengeance of the blood, by the vengeance of the communion, let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow backfire. I command the arrow to backfire. Let the wickedness of the wicked backfire in the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked backfire in the name of Jesus. Oh, the speaking blood, arise for me. Execute vengeance. Execute vengeance. Execute vengeance against every avowed enemy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. As you partake of this communion, whatever the wicked has fired against your destiny, against your career, against your future, against your home, against your business, by this communion, by the blood of sprinkling, the arrows goes back. Whoever is shooting arrow against you in the dream, I speak forth representing Bishop David Oherepo. I kill your attackers in the name of Jesus. Whatever they have fired against you mysteriously, by the arrow of the communion, by the arrow of the blood of sprinkling, I command the arrow to go back and hit them. Anyone networking with Satan, Using their evil mouth to tear you. Let the heaven be as brass for them. Let the earth burn as oven for them. Holy Ghost, come on, come touch them these nights. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Somebody came here on Sunday and picked a sister's phone. Wherever that person is. From this night. His madness has started. He will run mad physically. You are not saying amen. He will run mad physically. I command angels with Koboko to flog him. Anyone here on assignment to do evil, I announce your end. I announce your end. Today is your last day. If you are saying amen, say better amen. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. Yours is the praise. Mine is the victory.